Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is going to be an RPG Maker MV class spotlight. And this class spotlight is going to be on the Gambler class. Now you can take this as a template, and you can use this uh, as, I'm going to go over all of his skills and show you how I've built him. And you can change anything to your liking to kind of, you know, mold, fit the mold to your game. But uh, just some ideas for you uh, to, to break out of using your attack for damage and and stuff like that. So starting off, uh, my experience curve, I've set all my characters to just 20 and that's up to you depending on the pacing of your game. Um, I've sorta of gave him uh, uh, class A luck, like really high luck towards the higher end of A. Um, B for everything else, um, but also C for attack and defense. And, and uh, the reason why I gave him class C for attack and defense is because his attacks don't really rely on attack uh, as much. So uh, I'll, let's go over his skills really quickly. The skills that the gambler uses, uh, at level 3 he's awarded Hot Shot, which is a, a fire uh, skill. At level 8 you get a unique skill called TP Roll, and that's going to generate anywhere from 1 to 25 TP at the cost of MP. Uh, at level 12, you're going to get a skill called Risk, which creates a status effect that's called Virus. And you can think of it as almost a double poison. It's a, it's just a poison effect, but it's got about uh, almost uh, double the strength of poison. At level 18, I've, I've created a custom skill called Steel that uh, you can basically, if you've played any game that uses this, you know what it does. It takes an item from an enemy, but it's actually one item per encounter. I actually have another video to that. I'll link that video on how to create this skill uh, in the description below if you're interested in that, so I won't be covering steel in this video. And then the last skill at level 24, all in. Of course, I'm going to be adding more, and you can add your own to this as well. But this is just like your starting template. So I'm going to go over to skills here, and we'll start off with uh, Hot Shot. So you can read the description here, flings a card uh, charged with fire magic at your enemy. There's a 50% chance to inflict a burning status on hit. <clears throat> and burning is basically like a weak poison, but it's a fire element. And it also has an attack damage. And uh, looking at the formula here, it's 100 plus um, the caster's uh, luck times 4 instead of attack, plus their regular attack times 1 and their magic attack times 1. So it's like a hybrid class, but its main, uh, fo uh, its main focus is on having a high luck. So um, the, the defense, the saves that the enemy will have is their luck. So um, it's basically saying uh, which one is luckier. So their defense and their magic defense of your target makes no difference. And this isn't like a, a character you'd want to, a class you'd want to solo the game. You'd want to use him as a utility character because he inflicts a lot of status effects. Um, I've created a new skill called Chance, and you can do that in types. You just go over here and add a new skill, and then when you create your skills, you just select the, the type you want. So all of these skills are going to be unique to the gambler. Uh, and the TP cost for Hotshot, I've decided 10, since you're going to get it at level 30. I didn't want it to be uh, too expensive. Uh, occasion battle screen only, scope is going to be a single target. It is is a physical attack, even though it's doing fire damage. And I've created custom animations, but that's uh, up to you to decide. Um, what you want to do. And the only thing I've done here is right click and uh, I've added a state of burning and basically you can just copy uh, the poison and then change the, the number. I'll go over to states real quick. You can just right click on uh, poison, copy that, go down, change the maximum if you have to, paste it there and then maybe change the graphic and then edit this so that it's not so strong and uh, or whatever you want. I mean that's sort of what I did to make a burning status effect and the same thing with virus even except I've uh, increased it and instead of uh, removing it at the end of battle uh, I've made it uh, durations so it'll last three to five rounds and if you if it's uh, it, it will la it will persist through battle at, after battle and you have to walk 20 steps to, to remove it it's a really strong uh, poison effect as you can see eight, uh, minus 18 percent um, the reason why I've made this uh, effect so strong is because the only time that you can inf inflict this uh, this status effect is with the skill risk. So let's look at risk now. Uh, the skill risk, it's going to uh, have a chance. It's a hundred percent chance to to land virus on your opponent, but it calls on a common event of risk. So let's look at that common event. Uh, and basically, risk has a twenty five percent chance of putting a virus on yourself. So when you uh, inflict virus on your opponent 
there's a you know one out of four chance that you're going to also receive that virus and lose that much life. So um, you you could deal a lot of damage with it, but you can also end up taking a lot of damage with it. That's the whole point of of calling it risk too and fitting the theme. <clears throat> And for TP cost, I've doubled it up since it's a little bit higher of a level. Uh, variants, I've kept it the same, and I've also excluded critical strikes since it's, the status effect is strong enough. Uh, looking at the formula, it's uh, the caster's luck times 5 minus the defender's defense, magic defense, and luck. So it doesn't hit super duper hard, but it, it puts a status effect on guaranteed that is uh, really powerful uh, in its own right. So moving on to the next skill. We are at level 18. That's the steel skill. I have a video. The link will be in the description. And then the final skill, all in. Um, basically, there's a chance you could die when you use this skill. So uh, one out of five chance that you kill yourself when you use this skill. But it does massive damage. It's going to cost 25 TP. I might up that a little bit later. I need to do a little more testing. You guys can set it uh, to whatever you like. I've also created a, a custom weapon type called uh, cards. And we'll look at that real quick. Um, and you can create that right here. Just go to, 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 to types. Uh, and basically, the reason why I've created this weapon type of cards is because since attack is using a basic skill of uh, attack, I want all cards to use a different skill. I want uh, cards to use a skill that doesn't rely on the caster's or the user's attack, but instead it uses their luck to determine the damage. So um, I've created a skill called Card Toss, and uh, the Card Toss is used whenever you're using cards. And how I've uh, done that is with the Weapon Skill plugin. You can look at my previous video on Weapon Skills. Uh, curse, look at the Cursed Weapon, and you'll figure out how to do that, Cursed Weapon video. And what you're basically going to be doing is creating a weapon that uses that plugin, and you call that plugin by typing in a Skill ID note tag and the skill ID uh, that I'm using is 178 but it'll be different for you depending on where you put your skill the number is derived by the number that's uh, the placeholder for the skill see it's 178 here <clears throat> so the formula for his regular attack is uh, the luck times two plus attack times one plus a uh, magic attack times one so it's hybrid but it also um, the defense on the regular attack does use the defense and magic defense of uh, your target but the skills will be using mainly the luck, uh, like on Hot Shot here. So that's basically it. We need to look at the, the common event on uh, the last skill for All In. Uh, I'll show you how to create that. Um, I also didn't show you one more thing. Uh, so if you want to create common events like this, it's really simple. You just right click. Uh, you create a new common event, give it a, a name for whatever skill you want to give. In this case, we'll say Risk. You right click, you go to new, and you're going to go down to control variables. And you're going to select a new slot, and then you're going to call it whatever you want. You're going to give it a title there. In this case, it's risk. And then you're going to select a, a random number between 1 and whatever number that you want. Uh, because you got to think about the percentage. If you go 1 to 10, it's going to be 10% chance that it's going to happen. If you go 1 to 5, it's 20%. 1 to 4 it's going to be 25 percent and one out of two it's going to be 50 percent so you can work with these numbers and really get uh, a percentage that you like and you could even nest conditionals if there's a specific percentage or even uh, go one to like six, say you want like 75 one uh, that one's easy but let's let's say 68 percent like you want it to be 68 percent chance you can go one to 68 and then you can go like uh, uh, say 10 or something and then in the conditional statement underneath you'll see instead of making it equals to you can say less than or equal to so you can really manipulate that however you want inside this uh, after you control variable you're gonna right click and you're gonna insert a new conditional branch and this is what I was talking about uh, so we're gonna select risk and uh, in my case I'm saying if it equals to 1 then do this and the case of this is change the state so we right click insert new go to actors is on tab one and then change state which is somewhere here there it is and then you can uh, select a specific character that you want in this case it sets and then I'm changing the state to to uh, virus for this one one out of four for a virus so that's basically it so we're saying if 
that's gonna when they um oops I've called it twice here. When they use the skill, they're calling on the common event of risk here, and it's inflicting virus on its own. So it's gonna inflict virus, but it's also gonna call on this, and it's gonna uh you know it's gonna roll a number one through four, and if it's one, then sets is gonna get the virus. And I've basically created the same thing for all in. So it's going to generate a random number. And uh, if that number is 1, in this case it's 1 to 5. I've also in included text on this one, but that's all uh, completely optional. And if it rolls a 1, it's going to show this text. And then it's going to change the state. Really super easy to do. Um, you guys shouldn't have any problem figuring that out. And that's basically the gambler class. Um, all you really have to do is get the plugin. I don't want this video to go on too long, so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will do a quick play test just to show off the gambler really quick. We'll go to troops and we'll fight a feral beast with sets. Oh, I need to show you how to create uh, the TP roll. So the TP roll skill accumulates a random amount of TP from 1 to 25, so it's going to cost 10 MP, but it's going to generate. Uh, TP. So in that case, it gave me, I think, five. If we do it again, we'll get, let's see. That was a good one right there. So we have 34. Let's do all in. This might kill us. This is a 21 out of 5 chance it'll kill us. But it didn't. Instead, it did a lot of it. Oh, no. I, it did kill us. Yep. Yeah, one out of five. So that's why you wouldn't want to use him as a solo class. Um, but that's a lot of damage. 2,000 damage for level 24 there. In, a, in one hit. Let's run him again one time and I'll show you the other couple skills. Usually start off with a TP roll. 13 TP, that's enough to show off hot shot. So it's basically uh, a good amount of fire damage plus a chance of uh, burning. But it's a physical hit, it's not a guaranteed, it's not a certain hit. I originally uh, gave him TP roll because I figured his attack was going to be so low. That's 700 hit there. His, I, fi I originally figured his attack was going to be so low that he wasn't going to be able to land a hit, or when his hits, when he did hit, it would be zero. So I had, and he would get no TP for that. So I had to think of some way to um, get him TP. So I created TP roll. But then I figured out, well, if I just make an attack that uses his luck instead of uh, his attack he'll be able to do damage and then I won't need TP roll but I decided to opted to keep it in because I think it's a unique little mechanic to generate TP I mean it's it's a, a gambler class so it's all about random chance you could get 25 TP you could get one TP like right there I think I got two and uh, same thing with this skill it does a lot of damage but see now he's got virus on him and every turn he's gonna be see he just took 600 more there so I'm about to die here <laughs> But uh, I think so is this wolf. Yeah, we survived with one HP. Nice. Cool. So um, I need to show you one more common event for the TP roll. Let's look at the skill super quick. TP roll uh, just has an icon, the description shows you what it does. I put it in the skill that I've created. This 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 MP cost I'm probably going to take up and and tweak a little bit so it gets just right. Also, I decided this was a certain hit, and I created a custom animation for it. Um, and the scope is going to be the user, unless you want your gambler to be able to give TP to another member of the party. That's a good idea, actually. I might change that, but for right now, I'm going to keep it on the user. And, the, and it calls uh, all it really does. It doesn't have any damage. It just calls on a common event. So let's look at that common event. TP roll. It's just basically basically uh, a control variable, the same as the others. Um, but in this case, it's from 1 to 25. And then we make conditional statements. We just right-click and then insert new. Uh, and then we go conditional branch and we say if the variable that we created in this case TP roll is a one do this and then we right click insert new uh, change TP for sets to increase a constant one and then you have to just copy paste that and change the numbers for as many times as you want but this is a, a neat little way to create random loot too I have another it's actually a, a VX Ace tutorial so I'm gonna remake the random loot tutorial eventually down the line but yeah, this video is going on. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. 
And if you want to see more tutorials like this, you could subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or if you found it informative or if you learned something or even got an idea out of it. And let me know in the comments below if you have a special request and I will get back to you. I read my comments and I respond to everybody and uh, hopefully uh, you'll stick around for a little while. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial.